Hello everybody, welcome to my um, uh, not let's play Mario Party 4 or Mario Party 4 board playthroughs. I'm a uh, probably shouldn't have said let's plays because I don't mark these as let's plays, but I'm a uh, for those who don't know, August 12th is my birthday, so what better way to celebrate than to play Mario Party <laughs> by myself? <laughs> Now then, this isn't the first time I've done this. I've done this. I did this back in 2022. However, that one didn't have um, a commentary, and I didn't do this last year because I didn't really have any motivation to do this. But I'm uh, we're doing it this year because yes, I try to make this. I've I try to make this an annual thing, but I'm uh, of course it can't always be like that. I'm uh, skip. Okay, everything's good. <laughs> so you may be wondering, uh... Why Toad's Midway Madness and why Mario Party 4? Well... For those who don't know, uh, this game, Mario Party 4, released in the year 2002, which is the exact same year that I was born, so... That's why I choose this game to play. Not only that, but it fits the birthday theme and all, but I'm, uh... I also picked Toad's Midway Madness. Also nice town on the first turn. Uh, because... Well, well, that's not actually not ideal, but well, Because it's actually my favorite board in this game, believe it or not, I'm, uh... You may be wondering, why is this my favorite board? Well, it's an amusement park. I love amusement parks. Not only that, we never get a, We have never had an amusement park board in this style of Mario Party in my... The only exception is Mario Party 10's, uh... I, I don't even know the name of the board. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Uh, what are the controls here? Star. Okay, rotate the piece. Uh. There we go. Uh, this goes up right there. Why wasn't this minigame in Superstars? This is actually one of the best ones in the game. Um, but as I was saying, I'm on. But yeah, we haven't really gotten any amusement park, I'm on. Uh, amusement park, I'm on uh, boards in Mario Party, I'm on. Uh, and I don't think that's gonna change in a um, uh, Jamboree. Yeah, no, it's not gonna change in Jamboree. Um, and before you ask, no, Toad's, no, not Toad's, Toy Dream in the next game does not count. <laughs> well, this game's not my favorite Mario Party, it, I enjoy it for the most part. Like the minigame selection. Oh my god. Like the boards in this game are eh at best, but I shouldn't say eh at best. I'm okay at best, but I'm uh. They really, I'm uh. Put a lot of effort into the minigames. Another 10, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, is it up here that we want? No, that's not where we want to go at all. 
Oh, I see now. We... Why did you go that way, though? Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I see what he's doing. Um, uh, he's taking that road. Um, let me view the map again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. That's a battle. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. What is this? Blue space? It's your blue space, right? Yeah, it's a blue space. Ah. Uh, I probably shouldn't buy an item, actually, no. Actually, not thinking about it, this doesn't even work in my favor because I went the other way. Um. What more are we gonna do? I'm, uh, it's gonna buy a Mega Mushroom, okay, then. <laughs> Paratrooper Plunge, okay, then. It's weird how this game and Mario Party 5 are the polar opposites. This game has amazing minigames, okay boards, and then the next game has, um, uh, okay minigames, but, um, uh, great boards. <laughs> Wait, come on now. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, right, I probably shouldn't pop my balloon because... Yeah. <laughs> Peach, we got three. Oh, my God. At least Luigi got a respectable ten coins. Okay. <laughs> so I believe that, by default, puts Mario... Wait, no, never... Wait, yes, it does. It puts Mario... In front of um, uh, the coin, that well, yes, coin star, but also um, uh, mini game star by one coin <laughs> in front of Luigi. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, wait, why are you? That's a waste of an item, in my opinion. Like, it's too early for that. <laughs> like, you could have saved that for when you needed it later on. I think that's actually a good idea. Okay, now I'm tied with Luigi. Ah, jeez. What? Ah, yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna get Luigi as well. He also skips the lottery because, of course, he does. Matter rings? Okay, I'll take that. This is also a great minigame that should have returned in Superstars, but didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot because for some reason they decided to, um, uh... Add some of the bad minigames. <laughs> Like Trace Race and I'm uh, half the peril. Oh, I 
And for some reason, I excluded one of the better known mini games. <laughs> uh, which we'll see if I am, uh. We get them. If not, I'll show them all. <laughs> Alrighty, I won that. Also, something special about this game, I'm, uh, I actually got this for my ninth birthday, believe it or not, I'm, uh, back when GameStop still sold GameCube games. <laughs> I remember when, but, I'm, uh, I believe in 2012 they stopped selling GameCube games. I don't know why, well, yeah, I know why, because the GameCube was <laughs> starting to, um, uh, lose its interest, and then, of course, prices went up! <laughs> okay, that's my lottery ticket. Okay, then, what do I get? Okay, then. <laughs> this is probably the highest I've won in the lottery. <laughs> Because I don't think I've um, uh, ever um, uh, gotten the um, uh, the gold ball to get them all wonder coins. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, that's a waste because he can't get me because of the because of the teacup ride being pointed the other way. So I'm not sure what Mario's trying to do here. Not only that, um, but, uh, how many spaces do you get? Yeah, the moron passed the star. <laughs> I will admit it is kind of silly that I'm, uh, you can't get the star with um, uh, a Mega Mushroom. <laughs> but what am I gonna do? This is a 22-year-old game, I'm not... <laughs> well, I could, but still, um... How do I play this? Oh, it's button -em up Control's okay, then. I'm usually slow at this stuff. <laughs> saying again uh right i could critique it but i won't <laughs> that's not what you guys are here to see um but back to what i was saying i remember getting this for my ninth birthday i'm uh, that was an interesting year i got a lot of things <laughs> in that span i'm uh i remember i'm uh before then, I'm, uh, back, um, uh, when I collected them and played with them, uh, nowadays I mainly just use them for my collection, but, um, uh, uh, July 31st, I got, um, uh, Upfit. So, okay, I should actually give contacts for this, actually, um, uh, for those who don't know, um, I love Ben 10, I'm, uh, it was my favorite cartoon as a kid, I'm, uh, 
I'll buy a mini just in case if I ever need it. Um, uh, where's this? Oh, that takes me to the boo. Um, I'll just take. Okay, so we don't want to go that way. We want to go down. Well, that happened. <laughs> And at the time, the series was, uh, Benton Ultimate Alien, um... I remember, I... Every time I went to Walmart, I... would beg for, um, uh... The Alien Collection action figures, uh, made by Bandai, that's... who made them, uh, Bandai, um... Also, oh, this minigame is trash. <laughs> Like, this favors nobody. Like, n this is not a good minigame at all. Wow. Also, this minigame is called Candlelight Flight, apparently, not Candlelight Fright. <laughs> wow. yeah. but, but back to what I was saying, uh. Bandai made the action figures for Back yeah. Tanners. There were 4 inch figures, well sometimes 3.5, maybe 5 inches at times. Um, at the time, uh, I had um, uh, Raph, um, one of the aliens. Actually, they're all gonna be aliens at the time. Uh, Ultimate Humongous Sword, who I got as a gift, believe it or not, from my um, uh, childhood best friend at the time. Uh, Terra spin I got from Christmas. Uh, if, if these names sound weird, I apologize. <laughs> Blame the writers, not me. <laughs> uh, who's the f NRG? That's who. Um, and then Ultimate Cannonbolt, and I was in a bit of a drought. Like I got them every month since December, at least one figure. Um, and then the sixth figure was Armodrillo. Armodrillo. <laughs> Armodrillo, that's his name, excuse me. Or is it... Hold on, actually, one question. Hey Siri, what's the Armadillo alien's name in Ben 10? Armadillo is the name of the Armadillo alien in Ben 10. This answer is from DeviantArt.com. Okay, Armodrillo. It's not Armadillo, and I'm not sure who spelled that wrong, but it's Armodrillo. Ah, <laughs> oh, this item selection is not it. <laughs> Am I gonna? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody is gonna get the star if we keep doing this. Yeah, Armadrillo, that was the last one I got. I'm, uh... Basically, I got three in these The first three in December. NRG in January, and then Cannibal... Ultimate Cannibal in February. 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 I don't even... I can't... Word. <laughs> um... Then Armodrillo in March, and then I got hype this hyper alien figure. That's what they called the giant figures. Um, it was of classic Vilgax, who was the original villain in that. Um, also, this minigame, great minigame, it should have returned in Superstars. <laughs> this would have been way better than Kate Factory, that's for sure. They're right next to each other. The wrong thing. Ah! 
No, 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 other way, other way. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they were... I don't even remember how big they were. But they were, um, uh, realistic looking and everything, um... Anyways, uh... And then, um, uh... July 31st, I got my first one since Armadillo, um, uh... It was Ultimate Spider Monkey, um, uh... It was a weird figure, by the way, I'm, uh... So, for those who don't know what Ultimate Spider Monkey looks like, I'm, uh... He's basically a purple gorilla with, um, uh... Four spider tentacles. I know, very weird, but that's what it was. What he looked like, I'm, uh... Although the original Spider Monkey, uh, had... Was just a, um, uh, blue spider monkey with four arms. <laughs> Dang it, Peach got it. Honestly, I might as well just go the other way and try to get Boo. Oh no, I'm right in front- wait, no, we just didn't get it though because he's first. Ay ay ay. You did not need to do that, but... But yeah, then after that, I'm, uh... This was when me and my brothers were getting things, like... My brother, I, he got a GTA 5, I believe. Yeah, GTA 5 sounds about right. Right? Actually... Wait, hold on. When did GTA 5 come out? No, it was not GTA 5, it was... Was it San Andreas? No, it was definitely not San Andreas. It was some GTA game. Also, did I even take a turn that time? I don't even know. Ooh, hold on, peak Mario Party mini game. Bookstorm. <laughs> when you think of Mario Party 4, you definitely think of Bookstorm. Oh, right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, my brother, he got some GTA game. And then my other brother, who you've seen a lot, Sebastian, um, uh, he got him, um, uh... I forget if he got a game with it as well. I know he got a another Wii remote, which was handy for when I played. Multiplayer stuff with them. That was also pathetic. <laughs> and then... A few days later, uh... I got Super Mario Sunshine on my most recent copy of Super Mario Sunshine. I'm, uh... And then a few days after that, I got him, uh, another Ben 10 action figure, I'm, uh, Ultimate Echo Echo, which was my favorite, I'm, uh, of that toy line. And then I didn't stop there, of course, I got this game as well, and then... Did I get another figure at the time? Uh... 
I know a few days later I got him, uh... Wait, no, a couple weeks later, I'm, uh... I'm gonna risk it and go with item bag, because why not? Chomp, and then... Trash, uh, uh, outright trash. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Now I'm trying to think. Wait a minute. Toys R Us, um, and grabbed him, uh, a three pack of them, um, uh, that they had with the Toys R Us exclusive. It had the original, an original Fire Alien, um, the, the original Fire Alien, I should say, excuse me, Emma. Uh, Deep Blast, who is basically the face of Ben Tong, um, uh... And then the Fire Alien from Alien Force, Swamp Fire, and then his Ultimate version in Ultimate Alien, Ultimate Swamp Fire, um, uh, because I wanted, um, uh, this alien called Amphibian, however, he was rare to, f extremely rare to find, I could not find him anywhere, um... Like, the U.S., I'm gonna be real, they were pretty bad with stocking these aliens, um, uh, in fact, uh, one of my local Walmarts, um, uh, they, eventually they would only carry, um, uh, one alien, which was NRG, who I already had, I'm like, Bro, I don't need this guy. I need the other figures. And uh, Kmart, I was disappointed when I realized they don't carry Ben 10 figures. Like, I saw some in stock online, but apparently it was online only. They were at uh, in stores. Um. Okay, I'm gonna actually... I know it's a bit early for a star seal, but I'm gonna steal Peach's star here. Yahoo! Eh, yeah, I'll ride the roller coaster. I haven't been to an amusement park in a while, I really need to go back to one. Oh, oops. But yeah, there, I got that to compensate then. Randomly, when I went to the mall with my cousins and my Mom went to somewhere with my ma, aunt. Uh, she found another Ben 10 figure for me, which was a haywired version of Water Hazard. Um, if you don't know what, you're probably wondering, haywired what? Um, that was not a thing in the show. It was a gimmick. Um, uh, Bandai America did. Um, uh, where they swap, pallet swap. Um, uh, certain aliens like. Why I mentioned Water Hazard, he was pallet swapped with um, uh, Ultimate Cannibal, and vice versa. But yeah, that's the end of that saga. Trade Source Coins, oh my. <laughs> Mm. 
And then when the new series, Benton Omniverse, came out, I'm, uh, Walmart didn't even carry the Omniverse toy line. Like, they just stopped. So I had to rely on going to Target or um, uh, Toys R Us for that. Which was, in, which was kind of a bummer because Toys R Us was pretty far from me. Um, what the heck is the controls for this garbage again? Oh wait, I, I forget, I gotta sneak up on them. This minigame is trash. There we go. And speaking of Ben 10, <laughs> I've actually been searching for um, uh, specifically a Ben 10 Omniverse Omnitrix because in my opinion that's the best looking Omnitrix from this series. And my god are they expensive. <laughs> Like, I haven't been able to find one yet. <laughs> That's for a reasonable price. Like, $60 is the highest I'll go for um, uh, an Omnitrix. <laughs> Down there? Okay, then. I think I passed that too, believe it or not, so dang it. We're just gonna use that. Not sure what he was trying to do with that, considering I'm not even gonna question the AI. I do not like this. Uh, <laughs> I'll take. But wait, I already. Ay, 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 I forgot this was before they introduced the feature where you can throw out your items. So that was a waste. Another two versus two. Why did this minigame return in the in superstars like this is not it's okay it's not a bad mini game but it's a stressful mini game ah yeah, yeah, yeah. and we lost that's nice nah we lost What turn are we on? Like, I know this is one of the slower Mario Party, but okay, we've only just gotten to turn 11. Okay. <laughs>
Of course, I could always speed things up if there is um, uh, some ambience to where I'm, uh, I'm not speaking or nothing's going on. <laughs> And he's got a magic lamp. Okay, then. Okay, good. He's got no money. You gotta make sure he doesn't win the next mini game. Oh, I was supposed to use a mini mushroom. Oops. Dang it. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not gonna restart. <laughs> The turn, that's a bit pointless. Uh, that's not where I want to go. Um, no, I wanted Luigi. Actually, no, this benefits me, actually. Just with Mario going that way. Yeah, that's kind of saying about amusement parts. Um, I have not been to amusement park them uh, in six years. <laughs> Dang it, parasailing. That's not ideal. Um. Hopefully, Luigi is terrible. <laughs> Oh, oops. Oh, I still got that, though. <laughs> Shoot, he has a knock. Grax, I don't think I have the most coins, so I don't think he'd go after me. Jesus Christ. If that was a lucky minigame and it was times two, I would have gotten 66 points. And if it was times three, I would have gotten 99. <laughs> Actually, wait, is Peach going towards Luigi? Shoot, she's not. He's probably gonna steal from me because... That's what the AI likes to do. Oh, Nick, no, okay, no, he's sitting on PH code. Good, I'm uh, I just needed one more turn of the teacups and then I'll... Up, right? Yeah, it's up. And then, um, uh... I'll use a mini mushroom. Whoa, wait, hold on. It actually... Depends on if Luigi doesn't use uh, use his magic lamp uh, next turn. 
Avalanche, okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, where are the controls for this again? Uh, is it button mashing or is it holding a... Okay, it seems to be in my... I don't think it actually matters if I bought that or not. Finish. Also, I lost anyway, so... <laughs> I'm the winner. Avalanche is a weird minigame. <laughs> Makes sense they never brought it back. Also, I didn't even realize I'm in first place now. <laughs> anyway. One, okay. And is Luigi gonna use his lamp? Yes, he is. Of course he is. Well, we got to see Thick Boy Genie. Where's the star? Okay, it's over there. Not thinking about it, wait. Okay, I got, well, they're gonna get in anyways, so... Actually, wait, I can be evil. So if anyone was wondering where the chomp was came from, it's actually this game. <laughs> that actually benefits me in my favor. Uh, one? Are you kidding me? Mega? Okay, one. Another two versus two. Ah, ugh, this one's trash. What side am I? Actually, no, that's not. Oh, oof, I forgot. <laughs> Also, looking at um, uh, my OBS, apparently it's very dark for you guys, I apologize for that. Great, we lost. <laughs> in the game. Uh, 
last one would have, believe it or not, beaten my record if I'm not. I actually would have won that. Oh, Kevin, uh... What other birthday stories do I have? Look, I don't really have much, to be honest, because... They were basically basic birthdays, like... Of course, there was... Not... Yeah, I... Well, I can tell you my favorite birthday themes. One of my favorites was, um, uh, my fourth birthday, it was Superman themed. And I really like that, um, uh... Oh my god! Okay, but... Okay, so coins... The hidden block does exist in this game. Ugh. So I didn't even actually climb this out. Hold on. Okay, if I go that way, I pass the star. Uh... My... This is gonna be risky, but I have. I'm gonna see if I could roll them. Uh a four to get that blue space. A two, that's fine. And of course, another theme I really enjoyed, I'm, uh, was my seventh birthday. I'm, uh, this was celebrated after my birthday, though. I'm, uh, so I did have two cakes, though. One on my birthday and one on the party. I'm, uh, the one on my birthday was a Minnesota Twins cake because I'm uh, one of their minor league affiliates. Was actually my local minor league team, uh, and then I'm. Uh, of course, the party was uh, Ben Ten themed, <laughs> and of course, I already mentioned how I love Ben Ten. Um, all right, domination. This one would have been an interesting one to bring back, although they already brought back Pokemon, so they're not gonna bring this one back. Finish. Holy Jesus, I am washed! <laughs> one of my favorite Mario Party moments of that Gun for Channel was definitely me. Breaking my own record in Poke Pummel <laughs> in Volcano oh, Volcano Peril. Well, actually going back to the topic I had, I'm uh Omniverse Omnitrix are expensive, but I'm uh Believe it or not, Alien Force Omnitrixes on eBay are surprisingly cheap. <laughs> so I haven't found any cheap ones that are actually in the U.S. Well, the one specifically I wanted, um, I want them, which would be, um, uh, the Deluxe Omnitrix from Alien Force. Oh my god, I actually, wait, but first I gotta make sure I actually get the small one. No! Ay ay ay. Well, I'm not getting that star. What? Huh?
Okay, for those who don't know, I put the CPU on normal because I'm, uh... I'm not, I don't play this game very often. <laughs> Why did he do that? And once again, I gotta check the dang controls. Oh, okay, it's stupid tank controls. Well, no, this is tank controls, but I'm, uh, somewhat better. There. <laughs> yeah, the deluxe Tom tricks I'm talking about. So, uh, it had a statue where you put on the Omnitrix, and when you slam it down, it with the statue connected, it say the name of the alien. And basically, when you collect the statues, I'm uh, the way you collect the other statues, uh, you get it from uh, the. Uh, the Alien collection line. Okay, no one won the lottery. Legion first, mean second, Peach third, Mario fourth. Mario's gonna do this. Ah! <laughs> Red face being chance time, ew. What was I saying again? Oh, right, right, right. The way you collect statues, you collect the aliens from there, Ma. Uh... There's also a specific, uh, re-release of the Deluxe Omnitrix that had, um, uh... The, um, uh, the 10th al new alien introduced in that series, uh, Alien X. Who did not have a voice in, um, uh... The original release, but he does in um, uh, that release. So, bad news bears here. I can't go through this way. Um, and of course, there's no such thing as a reverse mushroom in this game. What's the what way is this teacup going again? Sorry, okay, it's going up. That's gonna prevent them from having a chance at the star, okay then. I didn't need Mario to use that, I'm uh... <laughs> Cause I wanted a chance to get him with mine. Oh. Wow, he rolled low, so that's good, I guess. I just need to roll higher than 11, though. Also, it's gonna be good that Luigi's gonna wrap back around him. Wait, wait, he's probably gonna use that mushroom, so he can't roll too high. Alrighty, Dungeon Duos, the definitive two versus two minigame in this game. Black and two, you are so slow. I'm controlling this. This one. Luigi, you idiot. Oh, 
This one. Ay, 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 we probably lost. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. Luigi might use this. Uh, hopefully you roll slow. That may be low enough, actually. <laughs> Uh, of course, I'm gonna have multiple chances to grab these guys as well because I have two Mega Mushrooms. Is that enough actually? I don't actually know. It's definitely enough for these two. Okay, yeah, it's definitely enough. <laughs> Although Peach is definitely gonna try to uh, get all of us though. She's definitely not getting Mario. So we haven't had a four point lead in a while. Making waves, eh. Not the greatest one versus three minute game. But we are gonna see this immaculate water. Wait, no, but Luigi's gonna use his thing now and try and get me. Oh, no. And if he rolls high enough, he's gonna go through the teacup ride. And of course, he rolls high enough. Chance time as well. Oh, yeah. 
What to get out of this time? Man, no. Please don't be switch coins. I'll take it to be honest, like that's probably the best thing that could have happened. It gives Luigi a bigger chance to take coins are sure, but better I lose twenty than him uh, him gain all my coins. Well, it's not enough to wrap around, but I still got an next turn just to wrap around. Item, uh... Another Mega. So if Peach passes me, I'll definitely, um, uh, Steal her coins next turn. Oh, well, it depends actually on where this star spawns. I'm trying to think, I, I think I have minigame and coin, though. I don't know if I have happening. I probably do. Either that or I'm tied with some uh, someone. <laughs> well, shoot! But Peach was gonna get it anyways because she's closer. And she goes first. Uh, of course it's me. Probably gonna pick the worst one as well if it's on there. 20. Oh, this is gonna decide coin star probably. He picks the worst one. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah yeah. Why? Who? Why did you have to make this mini game? Oh, yeah yeah. I lost. Luigi's gonna take points, are and yeah. Worst battle minigame in this game, and it's not even close. And of course, Luigi won. Ay, ay, ay. And I got the bad path as well. Why could you have picked the other one? Ay, ay, ay. Luigi has coin star now. He beats anyone in a tie. I think it's literally just going up. 
for the controls for this in the game. Okay, yeah, it's move and then hold on. It's honestly easy to tell when I'm uh, It's gonna blow him uh, And obviously I'm uh, The tip uh Keep moving until The controller aggressively I'm uh Rumbles All I gotta do is just keep min winning mini games so I can guarantee I get mini game star. Yeah, Peach got that star. Now, where's this star gonna appear? Also, Peach didn't roll high enough for me to try and take her coins. So, okay, it's over there. Oh, wait, no, she did it real high. <laughs> Don't win the lottery, please. Thank you. I'm gonna pass an item shop with this, but eh. There's not much I can do with the item shop anyways, plus I can't even reach it without using this. Game! Game! Well, there's nothing I can do now, um... Unless, like, coin minigame happens and Luigi messes up in it and I'm, uh... Is there really anything I can do? <laughs> because Luigi beats me in a tie. Like, the only way I can win is if he spends a lot of money. <laughs> which can only happen if he gets a boo and he's gonna steal a star, which I don't want happening. Um... So yeah, there's not much I can do, really. Um, unless chance time happens, which... I believe Mario's the only person who is near a chance time space. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I have no idea where that was going. <laughs> Alrighty, last turn. Peach is gonna use that, she's doing nothing, okay. Actually, no, Mario is not near a chance time space. Literally, the only one is behind him. Luigi does nothing. Nothing happens here unless I get a... No. 
Okay, so on eventful last turn, um, Luigi pretty much won. Why was Mario taking so long just to... Okay, well. Um... And of course we get this guarded to me again for the last turn. Ay ay ay. This is also, at least it's the only repeat mini and we got. Star! Really? We lost. It wasn't even close. Yeah, I got a mini game. Uh, points, Luigi. He pretty much won with that. Okay, I was not happening. Okay, then. But yeah, that stupid battle minigame cost me. If Mario p actually picked a good battle minigame, I probably had a chance. Okay, what's the detail results thing again? Boompa Kurt. Okay, it's A. Yeah, I pretty much dominated many games, uh. As soon as Luigi won that battle minigame, he claimed that. Um I was down by one for that actually, so never two chance times. No Bowser, one battle which cost me the game. If Red Star existed, I would have gotten it, though. Doesn't really matter, I don't even like those bonus stars anyways. Is there a minigame that we haven't gotten yet? That actually is a really good minigame? Let me check real quick. A few moments later. It's only times a good minigame <laughs> that should have returned. Code's oh, Quick Draws, another one that should have returned.
I always liked how Luigi was represented with blue because Yoshi was green as well. Dang it! Would have been epic if we had it on green. <laughs> Okay, this video is already getting kind of long. I probably shouldn't have done that, but Three Throws is another great one. Uh, the Bomb Breakers is another great one. Stamp Dow is another great one. Okay, it was Rumble Fishing. That was the other minigame. That should have been what Mario picked. And then... okay, yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. I have no idea what these two things are. <laughs> well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, uh, overall, I did have fun <laughs> playing Mario Party 4. Um, I shall see you guys in whatever I upload next. I'll see you guys then later.